my name is Ashok. Welcome to our channel Ashok IT. In this video, we will understand what is DevOps, why DevOps, what are the prerequisites to learn DevOps, and what tools we need to learn to become DevOps engineer. All right, let's get started. First, what is DevOps? DevOps is the combination of two terms. First one is development, and the second one is operations. Development plus operations is called as DevOps. DevOps is one of the most trending concept in the market now. Let us see why we need this DevOps. Let's take a simple example. Client wants one project. Clients came to company. He has given the requirements. He wants one application for his business. So for client requirement, we are going to develop the project. To develop the project, in the company, we will have dev team. Dev team is responsible to develop the project. So this development team is going to write the code which is required for our project. Based on the client requirement, developers will write the code. That is called source code. Once the developers completed that coding part, can we give that code to the client? No, because client don't want the code. Clients want one application. So we need to convert that code into executable application. To convert this code into executable application, we need to build that code. We need to build that code and we need to package that code and we need to deploy that code and we need to deliver that code as one application. So this is the process that we are going to follow. Developers will write the code. That code we need to build and that code we need to package as an executable application. Once code is packaged, that code we need to deploy into server. Then we need to deliver that application to the client. All these things are called as operations. Development team will do coding part. Once the coding is completed, we need to perform some operations on the code then only that code will be converted into executable application. Who will perform all these operations? That's where operations team comes into picture. So in the project, development team will be available and operations team will be available. As development team, operations team working on the same project to achieve the goal, there should be some collaboration between development team and operations team. Like what code they are developing? What functionality they are implementing? What functionality they have to deliver? What coding is doing by development team? What code is delivering by operations team? There should be some collaboration between development team and operations team. Then only we can deliver our project to the client with the high quality. So to establish that collaboration between development team and operations team, we are going to follow DevOps practices. DevOps is a culture. DevOps is a process which is used to automate application build and delivery process with a high quality. Alright, so DevOps is a culture. DevOps nothing but set of practices that we are going to follow in the project to simplify application build and deployment process to deliver the project to the client with a high quality. Now, why this DevOps? Already you understood that. So let's take a simple example. You are purchasing a product in the online. So there are several e-commerce websites available, Flipkart, Amazon, etc. If you keep the mobile order in the Flipkart, they will deliver that mobile within 5 days of time. Same mobile if you order in the Amazon, they will deliver within 24 hours of time. One day delivery in the Amazon, 5 day delivery in the Flipkart. Which one you will prefer? Definitely you will go for Amazon because of speed in the delivery process. Similarly, clients also expecting same speed in our application delivery process. So to simplify and to speed up application delivery process, companies are going to follow DevOps practices. All right. Now, what are the tools? Now, what are the tools that we need to learn to become DevOps engineer? And what are the prerequisites to learn the DevOps? Good. Now, what are the tools that we need to learn to become a DevOps engineer and what are the prerequisites to learn the DevOps? The first thing is we need to learn Linux operating system 
to learn the devops linux is the prerequisite to learn devops because as a devops engineer most of our work will be on the linux operating system only whatever the infrastructure whatever the servers that we are going to set up for our project execution those servers we are going to set up on the linux machines fine along with this linux what are the tools that we need to learn to become a devops engineer the first one is maven and gradle maven and gradle tools are called as build tools these tools are used to build the project and convert the project into executable format as i have shown you coding will done by developers that code should be built then that code should be packaged then that code should be deployed right here maven and gradle are the tools which are going to perform this build operation as well as this package operation maven and gradle are called as build tools they are used to automate build process of the application and the next one we need to learn about github github is called as repository server source code repository server in the project multiple developers will be available and they will be working from different different locations all the developers source code will be integrated at one place that is called github so as a devops engineer we need to take the project source code from github repository then we need to build and package that code by using maven or gradle build tools and the next one sonar cube sonar cube is called as code quality checking tool developers are writing the code what is the quality of that code is that code is following all the standards to deliver the checking we are going to do by using sonar cube if any issues available in the code those issues will be fixed by developers we need to perform the code review and we need to share that code review report with the development team for that we will use sonar cube and next one nexus nexus is called as artifactory server github is used to store source code of the project and nexus is used to store artifacts build artifacts once we build our project we will get a jar file or war file the jar or war we are going to store in the nexus repository for backup purpose and next one tomcat tomcat is one of the most famous web server which is used to run our java based applications if your project is using java then we will use tomcat server to deploy there are some other servers also if you are going for dotnet application iis server will be used to deploy that application so we need to know how to work with servers to deploy our project the servers are going to change based on the language we are using to develop the project if it is a java based project tomcat if it is a dotnet based project iis server like that we need to work with servers as well then after we are going to use terraform software terraform is developed by hashicorp company this terraform is used to create infrastructure in the cloud so what is infrastructure the machines the servers the network the power whatever which is required to execute our application that is called as infrastructure instead of creating infrastructure on our own by purchasing the machines by purchasing all the components we can take the infrastructure for rent using cloud like aws azure gcp cloud platforms are available in the market they will provide infrastructure for us in order to create the infrastructure we will use this terraform earlier people used to create the infrastructure manually but now we can automate that infrastructure provisioning by using terraform software now once infrastructure provisioning is completed we need to manage some configurations in the infrastructure for example i want to do os patching in my machines i want to install java software in my machines i want to upgrade from one java version to another java version or i want to install git client software in my machines assume that in our project we are using 100 servers installing the java software in 100 servers is it easy installing in the first server check it is it installed successfully or not then go to second server install it then check it then go for third server then go for next server it is going to take lot of time to manage such kind of configurations manually to automate that configurations in our infrastructure we are going to use ansible terraform is used to create the infrastructure 
Ansible is used to manage configurations in our infrastructure. And the next one, the most important thing for DevOps engineer, Docker and Kubernetes. Without having the knowledge on the Docker and Kubernetes, you cannot crack the DevOps interview. These are very, very, very important to tools for the DevOps engineers. Docker is called as containerization platform and Kubernetes is called as orchestration platform. By using Docker, we can execute our application as a container. So what is the advantage of going for the container? So if you have your application, you want to run your application in the multiple platforms, in multiple machines without bothering about underlying infrastructure. Then you can go for Docker. By using Docker, we can build, we can ship and we can run our application in any machine, in any platform. Docker will take care of underlying infrastructure. So here, as we are going to follow containerization technique to execute our application, we need someone to create our containers, to manage our containers, whenever it is required, scale up our containers, whenever it is not required, scale down our containers. That's where orchestration comes into picture. K8S, nothing but Kubernetes. Kubernetes is called as orchestration platform. So Docker and Kubernetes are very, very, very important tools in this DevOps. Along with this, we need to have some knowledge on monitoring tools also. So how our clusters are running, how our servers are running, how our applications are running. As a DevOps engineer, we need to monitor our infrastructure. We need to monitor our application. There are several tools available to do that monitoring. Grafana is one of the tools for monitoring our Kubernetes cluster. And similarly, we are having Prometheus also. By using Prometheus, we can monitor and we can get some alerts from our application. And similarly, we will be using ELK stack to monitor logs of our application. So you need to have knowledge on monitoring tools also to become a DevOps engineer. Alright, let's quickly see what are the tools that we need to learn to become a DevOps engineer. Maven and Gradle, they are used to build and package our code into executable format. GitHub, which is used to store project source code at one place. All the developer's code will be integrated in the GitHub. SonarCube, it is used to perform code review of our application. And Nexus, it is called Artifactory Server. Our project packaged files will be stored into Nexus. Tomcat, it is a web server which is used to run Java web applications. Terraform, it is used to create infrastructure in the cloud. It is called infrastructure provisioning software. Ansible, it is called configuration management software to automate the configuration management in our infrastructure. Docker, called containerization platform, it is used to execute our application in any platform without bothering about underlying infrastructure. And Kubernetes, Kubernetes is called as orchestration platform, it is used to manage Docker containers in our application. And monitoring tools, these are used to monitor our application, monitor our application infrastructure, etc. So this is all about DevOps. Thanks for watching this video.